Involve design thinkers at the very start of the innovation process? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm uncertain of that statement. Not because I don't think it's a good idea to involve design thinkers, but I, I think it, it casts, it puts people in buckets where, you know, design thinkers, people with black turtlenecks, and I think it's, uh, Roger Martin used a term in an earlier book he wrote on integrative thinking. Who are people who are able to not question either or, but and, and how do we come up with something that is better? And I don't think that is the domain purely of designers. I think a lot of designers use that. I think a lot of designers don't. Um, so I think design thinking as just a term to me is a little bit hollow and it makes designers either, either feel like more than they are or less than they are. So um, that's why I, I disagree to a certain degree with that statement. And I, I think it's about having the right people and it might be an accountant. Um, and an accountant who does not know what design thinking is about. Uh, it's a way of seeing the world that, um, that isn't black and white, it's shades of gray, it's understanding that there's always a better way. And um, I think A.G. Laffley has said it very well in terms of how do you have patience for the right answer to come? And give yourself time that it won't necessarily, oftentimes we force ourselves to an answer um, before we're re really ready. And I think a number of books, the Stephen Johnson's Natural History of Innovation talks about it too, but it's like allowing for that slow hunch, the way in which things come to you and come together over time. Um, so that's why I'm, I'm sort of neutral on the design thinkers. It, it's more terminology and, and uh, how you call it. I think what is meant by the term, I would probably agree with it. But.